You know, it's not my opinion. It's pure fact. So John here with Jonathan Staten and Kevin Tanner, and you guys won some awards. You guys are some of Golf Tech's best coaches. I'm just gonna start with you, Jonathan, from a lesson-specific standpoint. So you're teaching a new student. Why don't you take us through the process? Like, what's the first thing that you do? A new student comes in, they come in for an evaluation. Yeah, I just ask them what their issues are, what they're struggling with their game, and what they want me to help them improve, where they want me to get to. I then diagnose their issues, figure out what we need to do, build a game plan, and build them out from there. What are we gonna do to get there? Let's say you have two students coming in, they're polar opposites. You have a, uh, you know, quote, field player, and you have a mechanical player. How would you tackle them? So I think the best way to go about it is from a, a fact-based standpoint at the beginning. So using the motion sensors, we're able to identify their movements based on their tour averages. So uh, if they're really far off the tour averages, I can use the same type of language or start to change the language based on how the person learns. So uh, that's something that you develop as a coach, teaching a lot of lessons. So in my career, I've taught over 10,000. Um, and you kind of develop that feel for how the person learns just from a communication standpoint, asking them questions at the beginning. So. Uh, once we're able to speak the same language from a fact-based standpoint, it makes it really easy to be able to craft the instruction to the specific type of student. In all these years that you've taught, uh, what have you learned the most that maybe you didn't know as a, as a fresh instructor? I would say I've, I've learned that um, you know, I can listen to, listen to students, you know, finding out what their frustration is. You know, finding out uh, you know what their goal is in, in the, the journey of golf, obviously, uh, and then just working to Im improve those fr the frustrations and making sure we I work every day uh, to to really cater and, and improve their goals. So most people, you know, need to uh, they need to practice, but more importantly, they need to have you know a a plan and, and they need to know what to practice. They and they need you know whether they're at home uh, with their coach, of course, and 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 what they're doing, but what they need to know what what they need to do at home, how they need to practice uh, uh, before a round, uh, during a round. Obviously, there's some practice things you can do during the round, and, and just just if they have a plan on how to practice, and, and they're they're going to get a ton better. Sometimes people hear about golf tech. Oh, I'm going to be boxed in. You, you know, it's I don't want to swing like a robot. What would you say to that? I'd say you definitely don't swing like a robot at golf tech. <laughs> uh, the one thing that I think we do is we use analytics to be able to tell you what is going on with your game. So instead of just saying, oh, well, your balance is off or, you know, you should feel like you're doing this with your left finger on the backswing, we know exactly what it is that's happening. We can measure it. And then we can also be able to tell you, based on those measurements, how far away you are from where you need to be. And I think that's such a powerful message to be able to give to somebody that, you know, it's not my opinion. It's pure fact. You know, so if we can actually look at this and say, here's where you are today, and this is our game plan for how we're going to get you to where you want to be, and then over a course of lessons we're able to see that and track it, I mean, it's just such a powerful improvement story to be able to show that, you know, clients can actually get better, and you're not going to swing like a robot, that ultimately we may use motion measurements to, to see what's happening and quantify movement, but you still have to learn the feeling yourself to be able to take it from the bay to the golf course and be able to actually perform the way that you want. Swing better, play better, golf tech.